So some exciting things that I did get. Um, I'm gonna move you guys down. I got this great alphabet resin mold. That's what I'm gonna work on today. I love the size of the letters. I mean, this is, uh, it says resin, but I believe that it, it could be food or clay or, you know, paper pot, what, you know, whatever you want to do. I just really, I was kind of hoping the size, you know, sometimes when you order from Amazon, you think it's one thing and then you, it comes and it's something totally different. Oh, I really, I'm trying to save the plastic so I could store it back in that. Yeah, I might have a shot of that. Um, so this is what I'm going to use today. And what I liked most is that it's, the letters are reversed. So like what I put in the bottom is actually going to be, you know, the top. Same concept. I think I was thinking that it would be reversed. Like I was kind of hoping that it would be open like this, but that's okay. Um, I kind of know what I'm doing and I'm just going to play around with some letters. For my daughter, I also got one of these silicone um, sheets, and I, I I'll, I'll post the link. Um, it's big, you know. It's I, I'll post the sizes. Um, I just want to make sure that I am level, which I am. Yay! Um, so today I'm gonna use um, KS resin. A um, bunch of people on um, the Facebook groups that I'm in recommended um this resin so that's what i'm gonna do it just says one to one it didn't come with any I'm trying to see if this peels back but i don't think it does um it doesn't actually come with any direction uh i'm gonna just i probably should go look but i typically i'm gonna do a three i'm gonna turn my fan on first um and i'm gonna do um I'm gonna do a three minute. And since it doesn't say anything about different cups, I'm gonna put it into one cup. Um, so let's start with that. Okay, so I put it on the scale. Of course, the glass that has some weight, so I'm gonna just hit reset. And I am gonna start with the hardener. And these aren't very big, but I want to do, let's see, one N-I-C-O-L-E. I, -E. I want to do six letters. I'm not thinking it's going to take a lot of resin, but let's see how this works. It's kind of convenient not having a glove on the left-hand side. Let's see. All right, I think I'm gonna just do, I'll probably have a ton. I might just do one, end up doing like every letter with what's left over. See what else I can spell out here. All right, so that's 303. Now I'm also assuming that the hardener and the resin weigh the exact amount here, which I can't remember somebody's page I was looking at, somebody's YouTube um, thing. And I don't know what brand, it might be this brand or a different brand, that it turned out that brand, each one, like, you know, the resin versus the hardener actually had a different weight to it. I am hoping that that's not the case. The hair, um, we will see. And I don't know why my scale just shut off, but it did. Okay, so I'm gonna get to 303 again. Oh my God, perfect. That shocks me. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> That was purely accidental. Oh, happy day. Okay, turn that off. Okay, so 
that's it's, it's very clear let's start mixing it and see if it gets cloudy and I'm gonna do a slow mix okay okay so we're back <laughs> so um here's what's next so I'm gonna do I'm gonna spell my daughter's name out and I see and I see O L E okay I think I'm gonna have more resin so I'll probably be spelling out some other ones and the colors I'm gonna use is the the pinard um pinata white to drop it down i have tan uh pinata tangerine and sun bright yellow i also have golden yellow that's probably too much yellow uh here i don't know if i'm gonna use the golden though i have teal pinata teal um Pinata Baja Blue, and then uh, Mermaid. And then I do have just a tiny, tiny bit of the gold, but then just in case I have some brass here. So shake these up until you hear that ball. I'm gonna try to do somewhat of an ombre, but we will see how that comes out. I just realized that M some goop in here all right perfect so let's start with the n do a slow pour here Actually, I'm, what I'm going to do first is hit it with my alcohol ink spray. See if that helps with the bubbles, which on the surface it does, but inside it doesn't. Which now that I just hit it with alcohol, it's probably going to start on fire if I hit it with the heat. So let's see if we can wipe some of that off. And did you see the flame? <laughs> yeah, that's not the best idea. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do a couple drops of the yellow on the bottom. Go in with the white. Two drops there. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the tangerine. Hit it with the white. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the teal. Hit that with the white. And then the Baja Blue. Ugh, that one was tight. And what I'm hoping while it is spreading, I hope that it's dropping where I dropped it. So that's what I'm hoping. Isn't it? Ooh, it really catches 
Yeah, I'm going to drop here because it looks like I have a little, little room on there, but not much. N-I-C-O-L-E. Okay, so up this should be my daughter's name sign. But as I said, we have a little letter, so let's see. We can do numbers here. Actually, I'll probably do, I'm going to do 21 because that's what she's turning this year. So maybe this ends up being uh, 50%. Okay, so, dun, 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 dun. okay, this time I'm going to go in with the colors and then add the weight. See what that does. And I'm going to drop some gold in right now. Oops, just put my order. converting because I, I use this uh, Jacquard ink a lot so as I run out of one of the ones that I had in the store pack I then convert over to the larger model so that's you know, a little more cost effective in case I have um, Jerry's Art Arama outlet by me which right now they're having a huge sale so this weekend I will be hitting it because the alcohol inks are on sale um, I think it's the end of saving like you know 25% off a bottle and you know when you're getting a few of them that adds up so I have a list on my phone where I keep you know what, what I use and what I'm getting low at so then when they do have that kind of sale I go in and um they do the sale, you know, two times a year, they do the big sale. Where they'll do like a, um, August, you know, getting back to school sale, and then like a winter sale. Um, and then there's probably another one now, but the alcohol inks, usually it's pants and stuff that's on sale, and um, the alcohol inks aren't always on sale. They do have a great price, regularly, that's cheaper than what's online. So, you know, just to begin with, we, we save a little money, and then when we have a sale on top of it, that's kind of where I shop. I do take advantage of online stuff when I can, so, you know, right now I'm in use mode, okay? You know, use what I have. I get into this thing where I start to do something, and I'm like, oh, I gotta have a good car, I gotta do this. And then in the end, I'm so busy buying everything that I, I actually don't make anything. So, that is not good. You have to use your supplies. You know? And I think everybody, to some extent, gets excited that way, and, um, you know, I just want everybody to stay on budget. You know, crafts shouldn't be something that puts you into the poorhouse, though, trust me, people, I understand the need to, you know, oh, I love this and I love that. Right now, I'm kind of in that zone with buying the mold. So, I'm being super careful, and I buy mold, and then I make something with it. And, First of all, I decide whether I even like that type of mold or that style, you know. I mean, I love making the coasters, so those are cool. They're great gifts. You know, where it's not crazy money. Oh, and, okay. Just wanted to make sure I didn't mess up any of hers by thinking I didn't touch it. Um, you know, uh, you know, I mean, the gold, I mean, you can't have 17 sets of coasters, and I'm not going to be doing a, you know, a craft show. <laughs> so, you know, I give, I give them away. Um, the people in my office for my full-time gig love the gold. So, you know, I'm not going to be doing a craft show. I'm not going to be doing a craft show. I'm not going to be doing a craft show. I'm not going to be doing a craft show. I'm not going to be doing a craft show. I'm not going to be doing a craft
when I bring stuff in. They love that they're my, you know, things that aren't perfect that I was just learning how to do with technology, uh, uh, you know, uh, like this. You know, first time I used a mold um, type scenario. Um, and I, I brought something yesterday, some of the, the clear um, posters that I did. And they're like, oh, I love being your guinea pig. They, they love everything I give them. And uh, I, I have gotten some sales out of it. Like when I post something on, um, you know, Facebook that I just made or something like that, people will turn around and be like, oh, I love that. Um, so, you know, that's money that goes into the pot for the arts and crafts. So I'm very happy about that when that happens. But it's certainly not my intention. I do art. Um, for me, for learning, for relaxation, this is definitely a uh, healing for me. Um, it's my way of kind of mentally working through something that's in my head, um, something that's bothering me. You can tell very much so bit the colors that I pick and what I'm going through. It's purely um, like an emotional way to work out um, things. In fact, um, I, years ago, I did um, a lot of abstract paintings of you know, people's faces, like my version of a people's face, and, and their eyes, and I had to take it to class, online class, and learn how to draw eyes and stuff like that. And, I'm trying to think if I want to go in one more. I don't think I do. I'm going to just see if I can use any more of the fold and that on those letters. I will drop some more weight in. And I'm going to pick the ones that are not completely overflowing. But um, what I was saying was I had done all these different face paintings. And um, the woman who bought, a woman bought them, and they're like in her hallway. Um, and these were ones that I did. Oops, come to the end. When I was mentally working through whether I was going to get a divorce or not. So it was a very, you know, emotional time. I, I wasn't talking about it outside, outside my head. It was just my head was going through it and how I was feeling and um <laughs> this is like, this is just getting out of it because right and this is not dripping the way I want it to get. Because it is just putting a huge like oh, okay, that's much better. Okay. Because I thought you were gonna have like these huge like white oh I just did it again where I went in where that one was finished. Damn, okay. Let's see that's doing the same thing. It's like these big chunks. Not like that. I like it when it gets thicker. Um so she was telling me that she was walking down her hallway. And um, just looking at the paintings and like, like she's like, I'd love to have been able to crawl into your head when you were making them because you can tell that somebody's like emo was emotionally gone through them and she's like, these paintings like, tell me, speak to me. Like, when I'm feeling certain things, they speak to me. So, that was kind of cool because when I look at the paintings, all I see is my pain. So, that's why I really didn't mind telling them because they weren't going to go up on the wall. There was no joy. There was like this huge, heavy decision that I needed to make and it wasn't going to be something that I wanted to look at down the road even though, you know, you should. Alright. I think we're done. I am definitely very messy. I wanted to bring you down here so you could see what these look like from this perspective. As you can see, very messy. <laughs> so it should be interesting. God, that poor eye. I don't know what that's going to look like. I might really need to do that. I really kind of like the C. If that's similar to what it looks like on the other side, I'll be super happy. Um, but that's it. Bye. Hi guys, how are you? So it is the next day and I'm about ready to start peeling these out. Ooh, they look very cool. Ooh, I don't like the C. Looks like I'm gonna have to redo the C, but maybe even the O. <laughs> so we will see. Okay, we'll see how easy these come out. I'm gonna start with the my daughter's name. So I'm just kind of poking. All right, so good news is they came out super, oh, it was a little soft too. The white all came down. It's probably two. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but it's very, white.
crazy. Uh, I'm gonna let the rest sit a little bit more and I'll I'll do another video. I wanna, I want, and these need to get hard now because they are pliable. Um, and I see, oh, yeah, I'm gonna just set them off to the side and let those harden. Um, All right, hi guys. So I'm trying something different with the camera. <laughs> I guess I'm using my cell phone and I turned it around. So I pray to God, nobody calls and it just videotapes. But I did pull out the rest um, of the um, letters. I am not happy with them. I got a lot of white drop down and I I don't know maybe it's because it's so thin maybe I just put too much white in so I am going to do it again and I'm gonna make some more um they are very flexible I don't know why um it was like one hour like this is the one that I love the most and that Things did it except white dropped. And this was the one that I really overflowed. So I am gonna try, I'm gonna try just doing the end. So I'm gonna use a lot less resin. I'm just gonna spell out my daughter's name. And um, I'm not gonna put any white in. I'm just gonna drop the colors in. Um, I also just wanted to share, I got a couple more pretty cool molds. I got this really big, um, paw print, which I'm excited to try. I got this, I love, love. And I got this cool Mickey and Minnie. And I wanna do something tonight with the heart where I'm gonna mix some glitter. So that's what I'm trying. And I am nervous with my phone this way. So I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna pause it, turn it back to create the new one because this is going to be at the end of the previous video. Now, I don't know if this is... I'm using K-Resin Liquid Class Epo Epoxy Crystal Clear. I don't know if it's that brand. I don't know if it just needs a couple days to harden. Because I did go up on the website and I looked. And it said that you can pull them out. Like, you know, the resin cures in... You know, it says 12 to 24 hours, but it takes like four to five days to completely harden. So these might get, I hope these get hard. Um, like the S is kind of cool right here. That's what I would, the kind of look I wanted. Uh, the, what, one of the letters got completely, oh, Q. Cause Q was right here. And remember it caught on fire. <laughs> And it definitely, the mold adhered. So, I, and there's stuff in there that's like, it adhered. So, the Q is probably never going to come out correctly, though. I'm not sure if I ever really need Q. So, okay. So I move that to the sign. I need another stick. What did I do with my sticks? Okay. Actually, no, I don't. Okay. So, here's a few lessons from the first time. Don't. Don't overflow with the resin, but don't go under. The ones that were kind of, because otherwise you get this little lip because when the resin dries, it kind of shrinks a little. So like the eye, which I did overflow, was kind of the almost the best one. Um, so I'm gonna try really hard and I'm also gonna fill all the letters. I 
That's pretty good. All right, can't use heat on this at all. So I'm gonna just squirt it with some alcohol ink. That's I'm putting alcohol ink in there anyway. <clears throat> all right, so I'm not using white. I am going in with my color scheme. So and it looks like I might run out of this yellow. Finish this fast because I'm getting a low power. Ooh, ooh, okay. See, it's coming out. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Hi guys, how are you? So, <clears throat> I am, I literally was sitting here waiting this last hour and I just can't wait anymore because nine o'clock will be 24 hours. <laughs> and I am praying that these came out the right way. Um, I have a box here because of what I keep that cover on it. You know, it's just desk cover. So, these look pretty good. These kind of look a little better than the ones that I did the day before. Here, let me like pull those in. I C O L E. So like this one is not too bad, but don't like that. All that white. Not happy with that. The eye is a little more, especially like right here, what I was hoping for. The C and the O with that gold, ugh. And the L with that big blotch, no. So let's see how the new ones came out. Uh, I'm just pushing from behind and I'm using gloves because they're not 100% cured, so you can put fingertip. Let's see. Oh, I mean, I probably, I wish I would have just stuck to my guns and not put the white in. But I love the dots, so I, I can live with that white. That is a thousand times better than that one. So we're gonna move that end over, and this is, this is pretty cool. Okay, let's see what the eye did.
Maybe I'll try that tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so we're gonna try the alcohol inks one more time. This will be round three. Um, this was round one. Let's just take the end. No, no, no. Here's round two. Yes, but I really still, I don't want the white. So I'm gonna try it today with no white in it. So I got my fan on. Okay. Okay. So let's start. Just something in the end there. So I'm gonna go lights. Okay, sometimes not doing the math works out. Yay! Okay, so we are doing inks only. Have a little 
little bit of yellow in it. There's a curve. Yeah, I got a little something. So, Apple Orient needs the weight, and I just need to figure out the weight balance. These are garbage. So I do not want black, and not even really black, it's like just black, half. Yeah. Okay, hi guys, I am back and I am getting prepared. I'm gonna do a few things um, today. Um, I'm enjoying my day off and doing a lot of resting and relaxing. I am also gonna use this fake resin, um, which is one part hardener to one part resin. I'm gonna try that because I wanna see if there is a difference with when I pull it out from the other brand that I was using. Um, so I'm gonna do my letters for my daughter's name for the letters. I don't really mind if there's bubbles on them. Okay, I think I'm gonna pour this into a smaller cup to try to control the pouring a little. So this is just heat, set it on low. Turn it on low. And it is doing the job. Definitely at least at the top. Of course, I like the bubbles on the bottom heated up but I now have very limited bubbles in here there are bubbles though okay all right so I think that worked so I am gonna do the yellow the white but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the white in a cup. To hopefully control that a little bit better. Oh, I'm just looking at my bow and it spread. Not crazy, but it has spread. So I'm going to go in with the yellow. This is uh, golden yellow and okay, and then I'm gonna hit it with a couple dabs. That's it. White. I'm really trying to control how much white comes out. I want very limited hitting the bottom. That's all. 
clearly I don't want it to be pitch black. Can't go for that. Last time I also did only did one layer, and last time I was watching a bunch of Apple ink and the coasters, and, you know, people did do multiple layers. So, multiple layers, here we come. But again, trying to limit how much weight hits it. I just want the weight to push it down. I want that color to come through, not the weight. And that might not be a possibility. Maybe that, you know, maybe my expectation is incorrect. But, you know, practice makes creative. Because <laughs> I don't think there's anything that's perfect. But, you know, this is me in my head. Hi guys. Okay. Moment of truth. This is, I think it's my fourth or fifth try on these letters. So whatever this happens, happens. So I'm just praying oh, that they came out the way I want them to do. I took a little peek on the back end and they looked actually pretty good. So let's see. Mm. I think that the last set, here, let me get the last. Not the very last, but the one before. That's the winner. This is not far off, but too white. I really need to get that back. Let's see how the eye looks. Uh, yeah, definitely going with this one. Those, you know, when I only put one drop in there. I don't know if it's the thickness of it. Let's see what the C looks like. Yep, C is too white. This was the winner. The old one. Hmm. This one. See, now I'm going to have to rewatch the video. See what I did different. Same thing with this. This is the winner. I mean, they're not bad, but they're just not what I am envisioning in my head. Same thing with this one. I might try one more time. Somebody on Facebook uh, had posted one that was absolutely gorgeous. Yay. That's it. Thanks for watching.